a central stage for Russia's maritime industry, the Neva exhibition in St. Petersburg has long been a platform for the introduction of new technologies and innovative projects to both domestic and international audiences. The United Shipbuilding Corporation, USC, unveiled a new development at Neva 2025 that has the potential to revolutionize the future of Russian river sea shipping, the nation's first unified platform for the construction of mixed-class vessels. USC's engineering division, in partnership with the Vimple Design Bureau, devised the platform, which is officially known as Platform Number 1. It signifies a new era in Russian shipbuilding, with an emphasis on adaptability, modularity, and efficiency. The objective, as stated by USC, is to guarantee that Russia can satisfy its expanding transportation requirements with contemporary domestically designed vessels, in addition to enhancing the technical process of ship construction. Platform number one is intended for the serial construction of universal dry cargo ships, container ships, and tankers that are classified as RSR2. These vessels are indispensable for Russia, a nation with one of the world's most extensive networks of inland waterways, as they are capable of operating in both rivers and oceans. Traditionally, shipbuilding has been project-specific, with each vessel being designed and built as a distinct unit. This results in an extension of construction timelines and an increase in costs. In contrast, a unified platform facilitates standardization and modularity. Shipyards have the ability to customize a standard set of building blocks to accommodate particular vessel classes. This reduces complexity, simplifies the supply chain, and shortens the design and construction cycles. In Russia, this method is of greater significance. Today, a substantial portion of the river sea fleet that is in operation was constructed during the Soviet period, which occurred decades ago. Numerous vessels are obsolete, energy inefficient, and no longer comply with contemporary ecological and safety regulations. In order to replace them with new ships on a large scale, a system that is both economical and prompt is necessary. Platform number one is designed to offer precisely that solution. The Volga Don Max class will comprise the initial generation of vessels constructed under the new platform. The maximum dimensions of a vessel that can transit through the locks and canals of the Volga Don system, which connects the Volga River with the Don and ultimately links the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea, and the Azov Sea, are defined by this class. The vessels will have a length of 141 meters and a width of 16.9 meters. These dimensions guarantee maximum cargo capacity while sticking to the navigational restrictions of Russian inland waterways. This renders them extremely adaptable for the transportation of bulk cargoes, containers, petroleum products, and even chemicals across both riverine and maritime routes. Six unified structural elements underpin the platform's design. The transitional sections and cargo holds can be modified depending on the type of vessel, such as a tanker, dry cargo ship, or container carrier, while the stem and stern remain uniform. Residential quarters, service spaces, and the wheelhouse are also built on common templates. This modularity reduces the need for redesign while giving shipyards the flexibility to respond to changing market demands. The efficiency that platform number one integrates into Russian shipbuilding is its most significant advantage. Shipyards can transition from the construction of individual, custom-built vessels to a process that is more akin to assembly line production by developing standardized modules. This has multiple immediate advantages. Initially, productivity increases as a result of the training of employees to build repeatable modules rather than starting each undertaking from scratch. Secondly, the procurement costs of materials and components decrease as a result of the ability to plan for series production. Third, the construction timelines are significantly reduced, allowing ship owners to receive new vessels within months rather than years. The adaptability that this method provides is equally significant. USC can modify its output without the need for extensive redesign if the demand for oil tankers decreases 
while container shipping increases. This adaptability enhances Russia's capacity to maintain its logistics flows in the face of fluctuating economic conditions and provides resilience in a volatile global market. The Volga Don Max standard is a fundamental component of Russian river sea transportation. One of the most significant waterways in the nation is the Volga Don Canal, which was completed in 1952. It enables the transportation of cargoes from the Caspian Sea region, such as oil, grain, and industrial products, to the Black Sea and subsequently to global markets. Therefore, it is of economic and geopolitical importance to modernize the fleet that is capable of using this corridor. The service life of numerous existing vessels is approaching its end, which could result in a logistics bottleneck if replacements are not introduced promptly. USC offers a scalable solution with Platform Nova 1 that could renew the fleet in a cost-effective and systematic manner. Furthermore, the unified vessel's adaptability guarantees that they can fulfill a variety of functions. From the same production line, a single shipyard could simultaneously deliver dry bulk carriers for cereal exports, chemical tankers for industrial shipments, and container ships for intermodal logistics. This adaptability enhances the Russian fleet's international competitiveness and reduces its dependence on foreign-built vessels. The United Shipbuilding Corporation is the largest shipbuilding holding in Russia, established in 2007 to consolidate the country's main shipyards and design bureaus. Its portfolio includes a variety of vessels, including icebreakers, submarines, and sophisticated naval warships. USC has encountered obstacles over the past decade as a result of Western sanctions, which have limited its ability to access imported technology and components. Nevertheless, these obstacles have also sped the goal of technological sovereignty. This transformation is illustrated by initiatives such as Platform No. 1. USC establishes an industrial base that is capable of sustained large-scale output and reduces dependence on foreign designs by devising domestic solutions for modular shipbuilding. This has strategic implications for both Russia's transport sector and national security, as the economy is dependent on reliable inland shipping during periods of geopolitical tension. Modular shipbuilding is not an entirely new concept on a global scale. Bulk carriers and tankers have been efficiently manufactured in countries such as Japan and South Korea through the use of standardized platforms. Modularity has also been implemented in the building of river sea vessels in Europe, with a particular emphasis on Germany and the Netherlands. Russia's implementation of this model through Platform No. 1 aligns its shipbuilding practices with international standards and also accommodates them to its own needs. Russia's inland waterway requirements are unique, necessitating vessels that can operate in shallow rivers, narrow canals, and open waters, in contrast to the primary focus of global shipyards on ocean-going vessels. As a result, the unified platform is customized to the geography of Russia, integrating international best practices with local requirements. The launch of Platform No. 1 has extensive implications that extend beyond shipyards. If executed effectively, it has the potential to revolutionize the entire logistics network in Russia. A modern fleet of river sea vessels could improve the reliability of industries spanning from agriculture to petrochemicals, reduce transportation costs, and increase cargo turnover. Additionally, these developments are consistent with Russia's strategy of establishing the North-South Transport Corridor, which connects the country to Iran and India through the Caspian Sea. The new Volga Don Max vessels, which have been built under the unified platform, have the potential to significantly enhance Russia's status as a main transit hub in this corridor. Platform No. 1 is merely a starting point as per USC. The platform may be extended to accommodate other types of vessels in the future, such as ocean-going and coastal vessels. Additionally, there is a focus on digital integration, which will involve the management of the design, construction, and operation of ships within a unified digital ecosystem.
This integration would enable ship owners to monitor the performance, maintenance requirements, and fuel efficiency of their vessels in real time, thereby guaranteeing that the benefits of modular construction are maintained throughout the ship's lifespan. It also reflects the broader trends in the global maritime industry, which are characterized by the increasing prevalence of smart ships and digital twins. The presentation of Platform Number 1 at NEVA 2025 represents a significant milestone in the development of Russia's civilian shipbuilding sector. It strengthens Russia's capacity to independently manage its logistics, incorporates modern production principles into domestic shipyards, and provides a practical response to the urgent need for fleet renewal. USC has established itself as a leader in the emerging field of efficient, flexible, and sovereign shipbuilding by adopting modular construction and prioritizing the Volga Don Max standard. The unified platform is a strategic investment in the future of Russian transport and commerce, in addition to being a technical innovation. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, Please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.